up, everybody? And a hot here with a with a very special fan fiction reading. Um, this is a little late, but it is it's a fan fiction I wrote about my fan fiction. Uh, I call it a drabel, but that might not be the right term of words. But it's a it's a fan fiction drabel. You might hear a bell and you might hear some hissing in the background because my dog and my cat are in the same room. And so, um, let's get right to it. Lily's Mother's Day is the title of the story. <clears throat> okay, let's start. Lily woke up the next morning as her alarm went off. It was a it was the soothing it was the soothing tone of the Lammy Lamb song that Dipper sung for her a while back. She opened her eyes slowly and picked up her phone from its charging station and turned off the alarm. Thank God it's Sunday, she mumbled to herself. She sat up in bed and glanced over at Dipper and Mabel's empty beds that that have been that haven't been used since September. She sighed as she got up and out of bed and got ready for the day. She walked downstairs and into the kitchen where breakfast was already waiting for her. She saw Stan making pancakes. Hey Stan, she said, a bit depressed, and sat down at the table, grabbed a plate, and set it down in front of herself. Morning, kid. He responded, setting a large plate of pancakes down in the middle of the table. That's a lot of pancakes for just us, she said, observing the stack. We've got a big day. Seuss, Seuss and Wendy are coming to eat with us, Stan explained. Lily perked up. Really? She said. She asked, surprised. Stan nodded and got into the fridge. Why don't you make some of those chocolate milkshakes? We have, a, we have all the ingredients to make them. Stan said, getting out a small can of Piccola for himself. Lily smiled delightfully and jumped up and started making the milkshakes. As she finished blending the milkshake, she poured them into four gla tall glasses and set them on the table. Susan and Wendy walked in. Hey guys! Lily greeted them in a cheerful tone. Wow, you're in a pretty good mood, Sue said with a bit of surprise in her voice. Yeah, why you ask? Lily asked with superstition. N never mind, Sue said and sat down at the table with Wendy silently. They all started eating when Lily's phone buzzed. She checked it. Ugh, Amazon notification, she said and opened the notification. It said it stated that they were having a Mother's Day sale. Lily fell silent after reading it. What's wrong, Lily? Wendy asked after... She stared at her for phone for a few minutes. Seuss leaned over to her and whispered to Wendy, and she nodded. You know what day it is, right? She asked in a calm, soothing tone. She, she nodded slowly and put her head on the table. It's Mother's Day, she said quietly. Seuss nodded. That's what we have planned for today, Sue said. What? So you're all gonna bring over your moms over here and have some sort of party, and I'll just and I'll just be humiliated," Lily said, sounding as if she was about to cry. Lily, listen. None of us have moms," Sue said, trying to be as soothing as possible. What? She asked, confused. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I'm like 65 years old. My mom died a long time ago," Stan said. My parents left me when I was really little. So, I don't remember them, but I have my grandma still. Sue said as if he was not bothered by it at all. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. She said and looked up at Wendy. What about your mom? She asked her. Wendy fell silent for a few moments. I... I don't... remember her. She said silently. Oh. She responded. After a few moments, Lily broke the silence. So... I guess we're all momless, she said with a sadness ring in her voice. <laughs> yeah, I guess so, <clears throat> Wendy said. So are we all ready for the day on the town and not working? Stan asked. Everyone? Everyone got more excited at the thought. They finished their breakfast and headed out of the shack, ready for the day on the town. Chapter 2 The gang walked out of the bar, Willie carrying a half- Half a bottle of apple flavored wine. Woo! She said excitedly. <laughs> Thought that would make everyone happier. 
<laughs> Stan said to himself, smiling. A little drinking can't hurt, Sue said, chuckling. All right, what's next on the list, Stan? Wendy said, Wendy said, turning her face in Stan's direction. Well, I was thinking, he said, looking at the group. Paintballing, he said, smiling. The group gasped. Oh my gosh, no way! Paintballing is just like laser tag, but... Sue started, but Lily cut him off with with a threatening, threat-sounding threat voice, but with real guns and pain. And pain. Makes you feel alive. Makes you feel the pain of a real gunshot. Hearing the squeal of your victims as they shout in pain as, as, as the paint enters their skin, slowly poisoning them over the years until they eventually have skin cancer and die. <laughs> know that knowing that your enemies have been defeated. Oh, the thrill, <laughs> she said in a devilish voice. The gang was silent for a moment, being shocked of Lily's sudden dark side. She smiled happily and took another swig of her wine bottle. Maybe you've had enough wine. He said, taking the bottle away. Mew! She said in a babyish voice. My apple! She said, don't worry, I packed extra. Stan said, trading, a bo trading the bottle of wine for a bottle of apple juice in his bag, handing it to Lily. Yay! She said, excitedly drinking some. <laughs> That's your favorite. Let's go, he shouted, running towards the car. She, she shouted, let's go! She shouted, running towards the car. Does she even know where we're going? Suze asked. No, but hey, let the kid be a kid. Don't forget, her childhood was cut off for a while. Stan said, walking towards the car. Winnie and Suze followed. Chapter 3. They arrived in the middle of the forest. Lily jumped out of the car, swinging her apple juice before running, swigging on her apple juice before running around the f trees. The rest of the gang got out, Stan heading over to the trunk to prepare the guns that he had already put in the trunk. Wow, Mr. Pines, this is an amazing area to go paintballing in, she said, observing the f scenery. Yep, one of the best. I know, he said, handing Sue some Wendy a vest and, and a gun and goggles. Whoa, these are awesome, Wendy said, putting them on. Best one in this town. Hey, Lily, Stan yelled. She jumped over. Yeah, she asked. Put these on, Stan said. Her eyes widened at the sight of the objects. Whoa, she said, putting them on. Now, be careful. This could get a little rough, Stan said. Lily nodded and cocked the, cocked the launcher. Stan put on his, his stuff and wandered into the middle of the group. All right, everyone ready? He asked. Everyone nodded. Okay, three, two, one. Scatter, he said, darting in a direction into the forest. Without hesitation, Lily climbed, on, climbed quickly to a tree. And started to make her way away from the group as they went in different directions. All right, first target, Seuss. He went northeast, so as soon as Stan, Stan sends the signal, he will make his way back towards the middle, coming from the southeast direction. Position. Direction, position. Lily calibrated in her mind. A Stan shot one pellet into the air. It exploded in red color, notifying everyone that the game has started. Lily, Lily slung her gun over her shoulder and dar started darting through the trees back towards the center, where everyone else would be headed. As she neared the center, she planted her feet firmly on a tree, gun ready, searching quietly for anyone to come into view. She stood there for, for about five minutes before Seuss came into her view. Target sight, she whispered to herself as if she was playing a first-person shooting game. Quietly aiming for the back of Seuss's head, she readied her gun and shot out 15 pellets, 11 of them hitting him before he started shooting back. He shot out six pellets toward Lily and only two of them hitting her in the ankle. Seuss moved out of her sight quickly, Lily mo moving higher on her tree. Target hit, moving on, she said, making, making the goal to hit everyone at least three times. She moved through the trees in search of Wendy. A green... The green paint that Seuss fired was starting to harden on her ankle, so she took a second to wetten it up 
But at that moment, Wendy swiftly came out from behind a tree, hitting her three times. Oh, good.